Hi guys. So, somebody fell on my laptop screen and now it's broken. This video is going to show you how to change it. I've never done this before. So, wish me luck. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the battery so we can safely operate, safely remove the screen with it. So I slide a little tab in here. That slides over and then the battery just pops on out like that. All right, now we've got that out. We're gonna turn it back upside, uh, right side up. And in both of the corners here, one there, and one in the opposite corner, there's little tabs that need to be popped out. You need to get this PB out. Oh, there we go. There's one. I'm gonna put it right up top here so I get it later. Take our Phillips head screwdriver. Quick little twist, and out she comes. The opposite side, we'll do the same thing. Now, you take your fingers and slide them on the inside of the screen here, all the way in the sides, to pop the screen off. Because this is this outer shell is just a bezel. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna crack the bezel. Oh, there's the first little pop I heard. Couple more. Put it aside. So now what we're looking at is four screws that need to be removed. One, two, three, four. The important thing is to remove the ones that hold the screen in, this one, not this one, or this one, and this one, not this one, and not this one. Okay? So I'm going to start from the top to the bottom first, and unscrew my screws down the bottom. Pretty important, you don't lose the screws. And for the last one, I'm gonna lean it back a little bit so the screen doesn't fall out on me. And if I drop the screw again, there we go. All right. Now the next step is to get the screen out. So I'm gonna take these two little tabs here. And what do we got up here? Looks like we've got some adhesive of some sort. Of course we do. Okay, so can you zoom in here, and you'll see there's a little connection on the top. I'm just going to loosen that off. I'm not going to cut the silver cable, because that's for my webcam, but can you get in here and see the tape? See the tape that's along there? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to lift the tape off ever so gently with my X-Acto knife blade. So at the same time I'm taking the tape off, I'm supporting the screen because it's already starting to fall forward. Okay, that's one side. Now there's tape on the other side. I imagine this one comes off a little bit easier now. Let's see if I can get my big fat fingers inside there. There we go. So that takes the top part of the screen off. Now it looks like I've got the same dilemma down at the bottom. The same ribbon is all along the bottom. Gently I'm pulling this away. Super gentle because I don't want to wreck any part of it. Now, the bottom here, if you just want to zoom in. You can see here's the connection for the screen and the pins. Again, I'm going to use my knife and I'm going to gently lift up 
the tape that's holding this in place. Once you get it started, if your fingernails are long enough, you can grab the tape with your fingernails. Or you could use a pair of tweezers, still gently pulling on this tape. Well, that wasn't that important. The tape, in fact, is still attached. Okay, so what I did was I put the blade in and slid it sideways to get underneath this tape. It is very sticky. I'm doing it very gently because when I get to the pin, I don't want to yank the pin out too forcefully because I'm going to have to reattach the pin onto the screen. Okay, so I've grabbed this with two fingers here and this with two fingers here and now I'm sliding it backwards can you see the pins? Mm -hmm. out comes the pins and we're almost there so this part is taped on so I want this off just the bottom one I think I'll undo because I still want to protect the front of the screen while I do this. Okay, so I'll take the tape off for the most part. Now, I'll lie the screen down. Do the exact same thing as before. I'm going to take the pins. Can you zoom right in there and see that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to slide them in place. A little pressure on one side of the screen to slide it in. Alright, so it took a little bit of finagling to get that pin back in. But now, if we can zoom right in close, you can see the edge of the two connections, which is right along here, is smooth all the way down. So, I believe the connection is in good and tight. And being a bit of a clumsy oaf, I've just pulled this thing off the top. Now, I don't think this is very complicated, because it looks like it also is a little pin. So I'm just going to try to slide it back in here. There. It's just clipped back inside there. It's a bit of a delicate operation, that's for sure. Now I'm going to push the adhesive back down here, and the whole point of that is to keep that pin that we just put in place, in place. Number two going in now. There we go, I put two screws in loosely. I'm going to take off all this protective paper. Number four. Okay, welcome back. We're now going to put the bezel back on. Hopefully it comes off as easily as it went on. Or come, goes on as easily as it came off. Well, so far so good. Hmm. Piece of cake, really? Okay, so, last step. Put the two screws back in the bottom corners. And put the covers back on. Get my handy dandy little piece from up top and pop it on the screw, cover it up so it looks aesthetically pleasing. Pretty straightforward. If a guy like me can do it, so can you, because I am not a computer genius.